Hi, teacher. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, okay, thank you very much. I don't know what's happening with this one. I'll check it. Okay, nice to see you. I'm sorry that I, uh, uh, that a couple of minutes uh, lay you again. Okay, so how was your day? Was everything okay? Ready? I think yes. Okay, so let's let's uh rock and roll then. Okay, so just let me see something over here. Yeah, I think it's working uh, okay. Teacher. Yes, uh, Daniela. I have a question, but but I cannot speak Spanish for the question. Okay, so be my guest. Uh, fíjese que yo he querido hacer los el examen, pero como es mi primera vez en el curso, realmente no sé si usted tiene que dar la indicación para hacer el examen, lo, bueno, un examen que aparece en el progreso. He tratado de escribirle a Flor, que es de inglés, y le he tratado de preguntar si tengo que esperar la indicación o, o solamente lo hago, pero no he tenido respuesta. Entonces... No sé si voy atrasada en eso. Eh, no, los exámenes, usted lo va a, el avance acá, eh, en el progreso en la plataforma, es eh, usted los hace. A medida vayamos avanzando en la clase, usted va haciendo los exámenes o va haciendo los ejercicios ahí. Entiendo que los puede hacer varias veces. No sé si alguien me ayuda con eso o solo es una vez. ¿Alguien me ayuda con eso? Solo lo... Se pueden hacer uh, es, creo, que, creo que se puede, se puede, uno puede, puede trabajar de nuevo en los mismos, digamos, si alguna, alguna respuesta no está como, como positiva y todo eso puede volver a trabajarla. Pero creo que este, ellos hasta el día jueves evalúan y sacan, imagino que el porcentaje, ¿no? Y en base sí. a eso trabajan. Sí. Uh -huh. Entiendo que mañana este van a, I'm sorry, my Spanglish, I hope that, I, mañana van a actualizar <ríe> la, <ríe> actualizar la, actualizar la, la el, el avance académico que ustedes van teniendo, porque sí mandaron un, un mensaje de que mañana lo van a hacer. Eh, no sé cuándo dijo que era su primera vez. ¿Va comenzando el curso o comenzó desde el inicio? Eh, no, voy comenzando. El, o sea, el curso de, que estamos ahorita, sí, desde el inicio estuve, pero me refiero a mi primera vez ah, dentro ya, del ya. programa. Ah, Entonces, ya, ya, ya. Ajá, no sabía sí. si teníamos que esperar un día en específico. No. El académico, el, el avance usted lo va haciendo, de hecho ellos van pidiendo, ustedes por ejemplo a nosotros nos explicaron que si usted quería avanzar y lo podía hacer, lo podía hacer, aunque no hayamos uh, uh, visto los temas o tópicos que ahí indican, siempre Entonces, cuando usted... Uh -huh. Perdón. Sí, dígame Daniela. Ah, Entonces los exámenes que están ahorita en el progreso son de esta semana, sí, tendría que terminarlos sí. mañana. Ah, sí, vale. ajá, ajá. Okay. Y usted sí puede ir avanzando, pero es decisión suya, eh, lo puede hacer, no hay ningún problema. Uh -huh. Y como decía ahí alguien, este, ¿quién, quién fue Isabel? Parece, este, eh, que eh, puede hacerlo un par de veces eh, hasta que usted lo desee. Y ellos van tomando los, 
Uh -huh. Ok. Así que no problema con eso. Teníamos 9 y 5 al inicio. Siempre se me trago aquí. Ok, so we're going to... Oh, by the way, did you receive the presentation, the PowerPoint presentation that I sent you? Do you, got, do you get it? It was with vocabulary and the grammar forms or the forms that we have been studying the two previous days. Yes. Okay. I, okay. I, I can. <clears throat> Oh, okay, so today we're going to talk about um, a new topic. Uh, well, actually, it's a new topic. It's uh, some advancing with uh, something that uh, is Wednesday. We're missing the. That is correct. Wednesday, October uh, the the eighteenth. So, okay, this one. Uh, I know that you had to work in the morning or all day long, okay? But this one, I will assign it as a homework, okay? So I will assign it as a homework for you to practice. What are you going to do? Remember that we have been talking about stories, right? Am I correct? Is it correct? We're talking yes, about, they... yes, okay. We're talking about stories, uh, funny stories, silly stories, strange stories. Um, what what other adjective I can use uh, for that one? Well, silly, funny, strange, um, realist, uh, I mean, uh, serious stories. So we scary. Been... I'm scary. sorry? Huh? Scary. Ah, scary. Uh, Peter, yes. right. Yes. It's scary, I'm sorry. No, that's all right. Don't, don't apologize. Don't okay, apologize. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, that is normal. Don't worry. Um, it's, yes, it's scary stories and kind of things. So um, you're going to write, so the learning objective is what? What is the learning, the learning objective? Learning objective is write a newspaper article uh okay of course you're not going to write a newspaper article okay you're going to write a story for you for uh someone close to you okay but how are you going to do this one write a news a news story for one of the headlines and exercise six uh we uh, i don't have it over here but let's see write a story in order to write a story, answer these questions first, okay? Who was involved in the story? Where did it happen? The setup, the place. Why did it happen? And uh, when did it happen? It happened back there in San Salvador, in, in October 18th at uh, nine o'clock in the evening and uh -huh. and how it happened and what was what was the outcome okay so this is that the thing that you're going to write uh what was the outcome the result when you say outcome is the result of the of the uh, what's happening at the end of the of the story? For example, I took one of the stories from uh, the the reading article that we have at the end of this unit. Okay, it says Cam Canura, Kenya. As tourists look on in amazement, an spaceship kidnapped eleven elephants from a game reserve. The driver had stopped at the watering hole and the tourists were watching the elephants when a giant spaceship appeared. The ship shut down powerful beings, the light. That's powerful beings. It means the light, a big light, uh, of orange light that sucked up the elephants. 
the elephants were were taken into the the spaceship so and flew off and the spaceship went off park officials confirmed that 11 11 full grown elephants had disappeared okay so officials said that they cannot find the elephants and there is no um there is no um I forgot the word for rastro. <laughs> there is no sign. There is no sign of the animals anywhere. So, for example, where did it happen? Where did it happen, the story? In? In Nakuru. Kenya. 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 Uh, who was involved? A tourist. Uh, the, uh, yes, okay, the tourists saw the, 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 what happened over there. But, uh, uh, okay, there were tourists looking at what? Looking at? The elephant. The elephants. And what else? The elephants. And what? What was that? The elephants. Uh, let me see. The elephant and and spaceship. and the spaceship. Uh huh. The elephants. The spaceship. So they were involved on that one, okay? And there was a driver also, but the driver was uh, driving the, the tourist car. Okay, and uh, what was the outcome? Oh, where did, uh, when did it happen? Okay, and what was what was the outcome? What what did it, what happened? And what happened? Park of Charles confirmed that eleven full grown elephants had disappeared. Yeah, the elephants uh, were uh, kidnapped, so the the elephants disappeared. So that's happened at the end. So this is something similar. I try to write something, uh, uh, something like very small. You see, I just uh, use like from one of the stories from the reading over there, two, four, like six uh, lines on it. Okay, and uh, in Kenya, a tourist look at a maze and a spaceship. Uh, uh, came down and came down and kidnapped 11 elephants. The driver who was driving the tourists over there, he stopped at the water hole where the elephants drink water. And uh, there was a, a giant spaceship that appeared over there and the bean sucked up the elephants, okay? I mean, uh, he... he the spaceship didn't uh, land on air. It was at the on air. And then the elephants were woo, transport with the light over there. So try to do something like this for tomorrow. Okay. So, and uh, we'll see what I, uh, I'll let you know tomorrow what are we going to do. I know that your time is very demanding. So but please try to do it. Okay, something really small. It's not that big. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, the conversation. What is the conversation? Uh-huh. 
What happened? What what happened? What happened? Uh huh. And the learning the learning goal. What is it? The learning goal. Practice a conversation about something unlucky mm -hmm. that happened. See past perfect in context. Uh huh. Okay. So we are going to see on the converse. Uh, practice a conversation about something unlucky. What is unlucky? Without, with, without luck. <laughs> without luck. Yes, oh, without luck. Unfortunately. Something, like, yeah, it's something that happened. And unfortunately, I mean, you didn't expect to, but it happened. Okay, what do you see on the picture over there? What do you see on the picture? Uh huh. Glendy. Hello, Glendy. Novia, can you help us? What do you see in the picture? He's unlucky. Uh huh. All old stuff. Uh, going down. Ah. Uh, Okay, there there are a couple of lockers, a uh, lockers. Yeah, the lockers, yeah. Uh-huh, and the door got opened and the staff went off the locker or went out the locker, okay? And is a mess over there, right? Okay. So that's uh, this is the conversation over there. Let's see. Oh, no, without reading. Okay, please take notes uh, in your own word on the conversation. Do not read it. If you have the document over there, do not read the conversation. Just listen and you're going to write in your own words what's the conversation about in your own words in a couple of words page 25 exercise 9 conversation what happened part a listen and practice someone stole my wallet last night oh no what happened well i was working out and i had put my stuff in my locker just like i always do when I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I'd forgotten to lock the locker. That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Only about $15. But I lost my credit card and my driver's license. What a pain. Let me play it for you again. Take notes, okay? In your own words. Page 25. <coughs> Exercise 9. Conversation. What happened? Part A. Listen and practice. Someone stole my wallet last night. Oh no, what happened? Well, I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I'd forgotten to lock the locker. That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Only about $15. But I lost my credit card and my driver's license. What a pain. Okay. In, on the chat, please write in your own words what's happened on the conversation. But let me make you a suggestion over there. Just send it to me. It's because um, I, I'm... I want that everybody write something, but it's your own, and I'm sure you will, okay? So please write it on the chat. What's happened on the conversation? What is the conversation about? In your own words, in a few words. On the chat, please. Using, uh, using your notes that you were taking. Meanwhile, I will take 
I will take uh, the attendance in order not to take more than the necessary time at the end. Eh, Carlos Alberto Martínez. Carlos. Claudia María García. Present. Present. Oh, Carlos, thank you. Yeah. Pre okay. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, uh, Claudia. Daniela Mercedes. Méndez. David Alonso Mejía. David Alonso Mejía Flores. Eda, eh, Eda Lisbeth Pineda. Eda. Present teacher. Francisco. Present. Antonio. Thank you. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte Flores. Present teacher. Glendy Lisbeth Flores Ramírez. Present. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Isabo. Eh, Laura Evelia Vázquez. Present teacher. Eh, Luis Fernando Linares. Present. Marco Antonio Quijano. Marco Antonio. Eh, Natalie Rebeca Peña. Present teacher. Nubia Cristina Morales. Present teacher. Eh, Raúl Antonio Pérez. Present teacher. Eh, Rebeca Ionelli Hernández. Ionelli. Present teacher. How do you pronounce your second? Ionelli. Ionelli. Ah, ok. Eh, Rebeca Paola Granados. Present. Eh, Renato Salvador Ramírez. Renato. Hola. Something here. Let me stop the sharing right now. Okay. Eh, Renato. Eh, Ruth Mariel Osamaya. Present. Eh, Saúl Alexander Lozano. Saúl. Present. Silvia Tatiana Acosta. Silvia. Okay, only one, I oh, know, sorry. <laughs> this is the WhatsApp. Uh, okay. Aha, uh -huh. the man was working like he uh, used to do, and when he came back, uh, he realized that someone stolen his sins, uh, the thief went away. And he tells that the, that the night before, someone stole his wallet. Someone stole his wallet and credit cards when he was doing exercises. Good, excellent. Congratulations. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, that's happened over there. So that's that's the thing happened. Uh, let me just um, uh, share again. Okay, so that's uh, that's the thing uh, happened. Could you please uh, listen and read? Let me see if I'm sharing. Sonic, oh, yes. Page 25. 
Exercise 9. Conversation. What happened? Part A. Listen and practice. Someone stole my wallet last night. Oh, no. What happened? Well, I was working out, and I had put my stuff in my locker, just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I'd forgotten to lock the locker. That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Only about $15. But I lost my credit card and my driver's license. What a pain. Okay, so... Uh, Ruth Marielos, in your own words, what's happened in the conversation? Luz? I know Ruth. I'm sorry, Ruth Marielos, Amaya. What's happened, Ruth? Uh, Rebecca, what's happened over there? Uh, in your own words, what's happened in the conversation? So, uh, her friend, she forgot to lock your lock. Uh -huh. The locker and stole your, her, your, her wallet. Okay. So he forgot to lock. Uh, well, he thinks that he forgot to lock and the locker and someone stole his his wallet yeah but uh he's not sure if he lock it or someone open it so it's like that okay so you already say that thank you very much Rebecca. and uh, someone stole a wallet and okay ah okay thank you oh, yeah someone stole the ah his wedding bring as well yes okay so um uh, the conversation introduces the forms that we're going to study. But before we go on that one, I gotta, I gotta be. There it says, could you please take notes of this one? Uh, what did Kathy have stolen once? Where was she? What's happened? Could you take notes of the questions, please, quickly? What did Kathy have stolen once? Remember that once is one time, but we don't say I stole, I have stolen a wallet one time. No, we say I have stolen a wallet once. I have, I have stolen a wallet twice, two times. And I have stolen a wallet three times four times, five times. So, but when we refer to uno, one, we say once, and when we refer to two, we say twice. So what did Kathy have stolen once? Where was she and what's happened? Are you ready? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. <clears throat> Don't, yes, write, I am. Don't write a perfect, uh, if you can, do it but I just want you to give the main idea of this one. Page 25, exercise nine, part B. Oops. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did Kathy have stolen once? Where was she? What happened? Hmm, that reminds me of when I had my purse stolen last year. Really? What happened? Well, it was when I was in Belgium. I was on my way to the airport, so I was standing on the side of the road with my bags, trying to figure out the bus schedule. Anyway, this bunch of guys came by and asked if they could help me. They spoke very broken English, and I couldn't really understand what they were saying. Finally, they left, and when I looked down, I realized my purse had disappeared. It had my wallet in it with all my yeah. traveler's checks and my money and my credit card. Well, luckily, I had put my airline ticket and my passport in one of my carry-on bags. How awful. So what did you do? 
Well, first I screamed at the top of my lungs and tried to run after the guys, but they were too fast. Then I did just what I had seen people do on TV. I called my credit card company. Were they helpful? They were lifesavers. They told me to go to a local bank, and in no time at all they'd given me new traveler's checks and sent me on my way. Okay, one more time. Oh, by the way, I got a question for you. Uh, did Kathy have a stolen a wallet before, or she was uh, got uh, someone robbed her? What is the main idea of this of the first question? Did she stole the wallet, or someone else stole her? Someone else. Someone her. else. Someone else. Okay. I just wanted to be. Thank you. Page 25. Exercise 9. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did Kathy have stolen once? Where was she? What happened? Hmm. That reminds me of when I had my purse stolen last year. Really? What happened? Well, it was when I was in Belgium. I was on my way to the airport, so I was standing on the side of the road with my bags, trying to figure out the bus schedule. Anyway, this bunch of guys came by and asked if they could help me. They spoke very broken English, and I couldn't really understand what they were saying. Finally, they left, and when I looked down, I realized my purse had disappeared. It had my wallet in it with all my traveler's checks and my money and my credit card. Well, luckily, I had put my airline ticket and my passport in one of my carry-on bags. How awful. So what did you do? Well, first I screamed at the top of my lungs and tried to run after the guys, but they were too fast. Then I did just what I had seen people do on TV. I called my credit card company. Were they helpful? They were lifesavers. They told me to go to a local bank, and in no time at all, they'd given me new traveler's checks and sent me on my way. Okay, on the chat, please, people who participate, the ones that camera saw, participate on the chat in your own words. What's happened? Could you please tell me no, and you don't worry what's happened over there? Okay. Ah, okay. Messages are coming. With your idea of what happened on the second part of the story. Okay, no more messages. Remember that when you uh, write ideas or use the chat, you are talking to me, okay? Okay, this is what's happened over there. So, Kathy once had her, ah, uh, oh, there was. Let's let's see what uh, before. Kathy has, uh-huh, yes, exactly. That's the same idea in a very short, um, in a very short sentence, but you got basically the idea of what's happened in the story. So, um, uh, 
What is happened over there, uh, Daniela? Could you please read the, 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 the things that I have here? Daniela Mercedes. Uh, a bunch of guy asked uh, the action. Uh huh. Just read this one. Kathy once had. Uh -huh. Just read. Okay. Kathy once had cared. First. Uh -huh. First. Kathy once had her purse stolen. She mm -hmm. was in Belgium. A bunch Belgium. of guys asked. It. Ask her. Continue, continue. Okay. Asked her if they could help her. And when they when they left, her purse was gone. She called her credit card company and they helped her. And they help her. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, um, thank you very much. So a bunch uh, of, of guys uh, stole her. This this word, you, you can say a couple also. A couple of men. I mean, uh, uh, like, like two, three, four um, guys uh, uh, stole her wallet. Okay. So that's, that's a bunch of... The, Yes. We can use the there a pack of guys. A pack of guys? Well, mm -hmm. no, because a pack is only a cup of uh, wolf, for example, for example, a pack of okay. dogs. Uh huh. That okay. they are animal. Uh huh. And okay. a bunch is more things that are like a bunch of things, a, a couple of guys, uh, a few guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, some guys we can use over there. Uh huh. But uh, thank you for your your question, Mister. Thank you very much. Okay, so store her her wallet. Great. Okay, look at the the sentence how they are. Kathy once had her purse stolen. She was in Belgium. A guy, a bunch of guys asked her if they could help her, and they and uh, when they left. They left her purse gone. Okay. So the guy saw. It. So now the conversation introduces this one. What is the grammar? What is the grammar? What is the grammar? Past, past perfect. So we're going to, uh, we have been practicing using the past perfect in context. I'll send you back to the conversation and find out uh, about it. So the past perfect, guys, in my own words, is something that happened before than other action, okay? So, for example, uh, for example, if you see, remember the guy at the jeans with the locker open and a mess over there? So what happened first? That the man got into the locker or the locker was open? What was the first, uh, the first uh, action? Uh-huh, that the men got uh, uh, to the lockers or the lockers were open? The lockers were open. open. And the lockers were open. That's the first action. How, how past, well, I'm using the simple present, but uh, that's uh, the, the past, I mean, the past perfect is, is something that happened before another action. For example, uh, let me see. Oh, okay, I have this one over there. Look, sentence number one, I had put my stuff in my locker. Someone had stolen my wallet. And I, the contractor, forgotten to lock the locker. So, what was the action first? What was the action first? Well, here is the past perfect. We use we use uh, we use that. We use the we use the past tense of. We use the past tense of. Have. Have, and instead of have, we say had. Plus. Past participle. 
past participle or the main verb, okay? Uh, put, stolen, forgotten. So those are the past participle and the rest and the rest of the idea. So we don't call it the complement anymore. We say the rest, okay? So this is uh, this is the the word order that's called word order or the past uh, or the past perfect. Como todo en English, okay? The 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 word order it has a word order that makes sense. Okay, uh, let me see. I think there is a there is a. Okay, no. Yeah. Okay. It says, what it says over here, when we are? When we are talking about to advance in the past, we use the past perfect to express the earlier one. Ah, the earlier action. Okay, the earlier action. What time is in the first? What time is here? From seven? From seven to... 8 p.m. At 2 8 p.m. And on the second, what time is over there? What at time is six, six at, six, at 6 45? It means sharp. Okay, at that time. So I was working out and I have put my stuff in my locker. So which one was the first uh, the first action? The first action I, put I, the first stuff in the I have put uh, my stuff in my locker. I was working out and I have put. So I put my stuff in the locker and then I went to work uh, work out. Uh, so now look at the following statement. I came back. Someone stole my wallet. That in... Uh, huh. And it says, someone, <clears throat> ah, sorry, someone is stolen. Uh -huh. Someone stole my wallet. Which action was first? Someone stole my wallet. Yeah, someone stole it uh, happened earlier. So that someone have stolen my wallet. It, I guess I made a mistake on this one because it should says have it stolen. I guess there is a mistake on this one. Let's see. Past perfect. Ah, when I came back, someone had it stolen. No, no. It's okay. I'm sorry, I got mixed it up. And uh, those are the simple, the, the simple, the simple past. I came back, someone stole my wallet. Someone stole my wallet. So, uh, which event happened earlier? And the, and the second sentence, when I came back, someone had stolen my bag, my wallet. What was the, the, the action that happened earlier? Uh-huh. On this sentence, I'm meaning on this sentence, and this one. When I came back. Ah, but it says when I came back, someone had someone stolen. had stolen my wallet. Yes, that's action happened first. Okay, first someone st had stolen my wallet, and then I came back. Okay, I came back. Yes. So, like I said, uh, in order not to, uh, I guess uh, I I wouldn't like uh, to get it confused on this one. So, and. Um, I hope that they are not listening. <laughs> uh, the past perfect siempre es la, una acción que pasa antes de la otra. Okay. I came back and my wallet wasn't there because it was someone stolen. Okay. So that's, that's the scene. So as uh, someone had stolen my uh, wallet, that was the first action. And we use the, uh, the past perfect for it and the second one. So, so it's over there like, like the stuff over there. And let's see, I guess I, okay. 
Look over there at the sentences. Let me close this one. Ajá. Es que así se dice. Listen, listen to the sentences over there. Page 25. Exercise 10. Grammar focus. Past perfect. Use the past perfect for an event that occurred before another event or time period in the past. I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. They were able to steal it because I had forgotten to lock the locker. Okay, now I will play the audio again. And no need to turn on the microphones. So and just read, uh, well, turn on the microphones and repeat the sentence. I will make a pause and you read the sentence again. Page 25, exercise 10, grammar focus, past perfect. Use the past perfect for an event that occurred before another event or time period in the past. I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker. Uh, repeat the sentence. I was working out. I was working out, out and, and I had put my, my locker. stuff in my locker. Okay, the second one. Listen up. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. They were able to. Okay, the second one. When I came when I back, came back, back someone had stolen, stolen, stolen my wallet. My wallet. Okay, the third Steal one. Steal it because I had forgotten to lock the locker. Okay. They were? They were able to steal those I had forgotten to lock the locker. Okay. I'll give you like two or three examples. And then think of something that happened to you, at least two sentences, and uh, uh, put it uh, in this way. For example, we, me, me, okay, Mr. Lopez. When I came back home, my wife had eaten dinner. When I came back home, my wife had eaten dinner. Uh, Again, when I came home, my puppy, Bonnie, had gone outside. When I came home, my puppy, Bonnie, gone, gone, had gone outside because she got to go pee outside, but she never goes alone. She always would go with me or with my wife, okay? So, uh, I was working out at my job and the director had called me with the assistant. I was working at my job and the director or my principal had called me with his assistant. You see, I was working, but uh, the director called me with the assistant. Comprende? Yes. Okay, could you please think of at least two ideas of your own and share it with us and the, on, on the, on the, and share it with us, please. You got like two, three minutes, two minutes.
at least one idea because that's the that, uh, time is running. Who wants to share uh, one idea um, orally on your microphone? Who wants to share? I need a couple of volunteers. Uh huh. Who wants to share, please? It doesn't matter if you made a mistake, eh? Here by the microphone. Yes, 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 on the microphone. I or was on playing the... piano when I'm... I was playing piano when my car got an accident. Okay, good. Someone else? Ah, uh -uh, I was playing, I was sleeping some... Uh, someone stole my car. Yes, okay, good. And the children ate pesto. Yeah. Ah, okay, great. Thank you. That was good. Yeah. So lucky your children, eh? Okay, someone else on the microphone? I was cook cooking my, my lunch when, I'm sorry, when I was cooking my lunch, my son called me. Okay, had caught me, uh -huh. had. Have uh, called me, okay. Yes, have <laughs> called me. Nope, agree. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's the way learning. Uh -huh, I got one on the, on the chat. I don't know if you're able to see it. I guess he sent it to everybody. Yes, it's on, on everybody. The children had uh, a pasta for lunch because I had cooked it, okay? What was the first action? That the pasta were, was cooked. And the second is that, uh, yes. Um, this kind of sentences, it's just a matter of practicing, okay? So it's a, it's a matter of practicing. For example, look at this one. Ah, this is that I, I mark it. Um, I can use in the past event, the past continue. I was working out. I mean, exercising, right? When I came back, okay? Here, there is not a rule. You can use the different uh, uh, past forms. You can use past continuous, simple past. Uh, you can use the infinitive, able to. They were, uh, they were able to steal it. They were, uh, he was able to steal it. He was able to draw, I mean, to dry. He was able to dry. And remember that every time that we use uh, to, we must have the verb in the simple present, like, 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 I'm trying to get the, the pencil, like this one. He was able to steal it. I was able to dry. I, uh, she was able to uh, write it, she, she was able to do it, whatever, okay? So we use, uh, in that case, every time that we used to, we use the simple form of the verb. And the past perfect event on this side, look, we use the simple past of have plus the past participle of the verb. I had put, someone had stolen uh, because, uh, or I had forgotten, I have eaten, I, I, someone had driven, uh, uh, 
I had written. So that's how uh, we use the past, uh, the uh, past perfect. And a past perfect means an action that happened before another one. Can you sound kind of crazy, but it, that's the way. Okay, guys. <clears throat> this is the, the exercise that you have over there. Unfortunately, it's not time, so but I, I'll send you to you. So what it will be, the first sentence. A thief break into our house last night while my sister and I pick up a pizza for dinner. What it will be? Broke into. Uh-huh, broke into. Yes, broke into the house last night while my sister and I Pick up. I have pick up. We're picking up. Okay, in this case. Okay. And, this, and it's yeah. kind of. Sister and. and I'm just... Yeah, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I guess, no. Two person, uh, uh, for example, I and my sister. Yes, exactly. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, no, it's not that. No, don't apologize. Good participation. Uh, this is kind of silly because we are using we are using uh, the past perfect over there. But for example, on the second one, uh, remember that in this case, shop is not a noun; it's a verb. I shopped. I was shopping. 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 I was shopping. I was, I shopping, was shopping with, uh, with some friends, friends yesterday. Yesterday and I, and I, uh, I had I lost. lost. I lost. lost. I don't know. I lost my keys. Uh huh. And then I was driving. I was. I was, uh, I was driving, uh, or you can say I drove around the friends all day on Sunday and. Run out. Run it up. Uh huh. Let's see. I run out. Let's read the instructions. Why we haven't? If we were studying the the past perfect, why the sentences are not like that? Let's write. The, let's read the the instruction. What is this instructions? Use the simple past or past simple continuous. Past. Will be verbs in column I. Ah, that's why we haven't seen the past perfect on that. Okay. I'm sure you will say, what? If we were studying the past perfect, is why is not like that? Because we didn't read the instructions. Your fault or my fault? Or everybody's fault? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I follow. Everybody's poor. <laughs> no, I did it on purpose. I did it on purpose. Don't worry. Like El Chapulín Colorado. Oh, so todo, todo estaba bajo control. <laughs> oh. No, oh, no, no. I. That's why. No, I didn't purpose. Really, really. It, it, it was a. It's not. It's not really a joke because. Every time that we do something, we need to read first. I'm sure you were surprised. What? What? What, what is the past perfect? See, that's the, the, but it says on the first column. And what it says, and the simple, and, and the rest simple of the past, past or past continue. Past continue. Uh, uh, sim, no, on, 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 on the last instruction. Oh, sorry. And the, and simple the, pass and the past perfect in, all, all in column the B. Past perfect on the column B. Okay. Now we know we're sure what's happening over there. So it says on number four, I I what is the bird over there? 
I I tried. will I will We're try. Trying. I, I was I trying, was trying. To go and visit my parents last <clears throat> night when I got I got I got when I got uh-huh. Remember that yesterday I we we, we were studying uh, uh past continuous versus simple past, right? Is it right? Yes. I, I teach many classes that sometimes I don't know where to go. Okay, uh, just one minute and I'll leave you go, okay? Because I'm sure, did anyone notice at what time they would start the class? It was 9.03, right? Yeah, 9.06. Well, 9.06, uh -huh. nine, nine because of my soon got stuck again. Sorry, it's not your fault and I'm making pain you. <laughs> okay, okay, luckily, and the simple past or the past perfect. Luckily, I, a friend, a copy of them. I gave a friend. Gave. I have okay. given. Okay. I have given a copy of friend and she came okay. over. over. Came over and lost my friend. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Uh, please don't, do not forget the story for tomorrow. Okay. And be ready to oh share God. it with the rest of the students, okay? Please do not be afraid to talk, okay? I'm not evaluating you, okay? We're just learning together. Of course, you have to learn from uh, more from me because I'm the teacher, but we're learning together, believe me. Okay, bye-bye. See you. Have a nice day. Okay, thank Talk. you. Good night. Bye, teacher. Thanks to you. Bye.